Yeah, this whole page today playing well under par. 4.29 average, so everybody staying is on this tee, hoping to walk away with a birdie. And the wind's whipping pretty good. She'll be getting some good help with the wind. Got the kick. Fabulous bounce, beautiful yeah. shot. Just right at pole high, not flirting. Mm, started two, wanted two, and stayed right there then. Yeah, maybe having watched a Tyus putt, maybe made her play yeah. a little bit more break. Solid finishes. Lydia clubbing back off the tee. Yeah, 250 through the fairway on the right side, so nicely done, safe play. Almost tried to punch that three wood there a little bit. That'll be just fine. With a wedge in hand. I wonder if Caddy just told her it's a breath off the left. It should be coming slightly off the right. It should be over right shoulder, yep, down and helping. What, whatever it is, that was yep. perfect. <laughs> it works. We should have known that Lydia would have no issue. Yeah. Should have given her the mic. Way into the left. I'd expect this to be about 10 feet right of the hole or so. I'd like to try to take a tremendous amount off that. Very aggressive play with her pace. It's the most important part of making putts is having good speed. Reads this week, at least so far, not lightning fast. 11 and a half, as Tom said, on the stint meter. And you mentioned all the rain. And an inch of rain, the tropical storm coming through. That's definitely where the challenge comes into play. But off the tee, it's not, it's not an advantage to the most accurate drivers out here. You can, that's why you can really take advantage of your length. A player like Lexi, Nelly. 142, 135 to cover that bunker. One line with a pin. She just has a nine. Yeah, another good iron shot, but this is where it gets tricky. The ball doesn't sit down at nine. She's not only studied the shit, but really played some great golf. Yeah, she's tried to downplay Paige a lot of the season ending awards and things on the line, but they have to be somewhat in her mind, so not surprised to see her get off to a little bit of a shaky start with everything going on this week for Lydia. It's been a terrific season for Lydia Ko. A couple of wins, number one on the list coming in. This is her second at 10. Yeah, 101 yards. All she's got to pay attention to is anything long, but that was very well played. And left herself below the hole, putting up the hill. Very good look at birdie there. Let's go back over to the fifth, and Paige McKenzie watching Lydia Ko, this for birdie. Been a little bit of a grind so far today, but a good look here. Yeah. And gets her back to where she started the day. Bogeyed the opening hole. Morgan was talking about. Here at 10, Lydia Ko to get it to three under. Yeah, she had a chance to see a tie and miss just on the high side, and she made the same mistake. So the top two on the list playing together. The final pairing of the day, Lydia Ko, Ataya Tidikun, who's already wrapped up. Louise Suggs, Rolex Rookie of the Year honors. At the 11th, the second for Lydia. Seven iron. 143 yards. This is a ton of club, but that was a manufactured little shot. Nice. She loves to maneuver it like that, Paige. Pot just moving from her left to right, a little bit downhill. Stay high, just caught enough of that right side. We gotta, so. we gotta change the graphic. We gotta update the yep, graphic. Yep, it was now. at 202. <laughs> yeah. Like a block push a little bit there. Just gonna get away with it. You've done. Uh, Skating. Players cannot see the bottom of the cup. A little 
long. Not the worst place to be there, though. Another one to that, yeah. to that over 10 foot statistic. Yes, there you go. She's easily running away with that category. I think she's going to get too aggressive with it. Just try to keep it up. To Looks like she's just got a hybrid in her hand here, yeah. Paige. Try and play in for position, putting herself to a good number. Something that she feels comfortable in going into the green. That'll be just fine. Good angle. You can see just how far Lydia is gripping down on this one. That typically tends to take a little bit of distance off of the shot as well. Like that? Yeah, that's, it, I think that's inside the 10 feet, though. It, so It doesn't <laughs> count on that graphic, yeah. But, I mean, that just makes it look so easy. Now to the right, but there's no trouble there. There is trouble down the left. There's a bunker. The divots. Yeah. I've seen some really good shots in here, Paige. The last few groups. Expect Liddy to take dead aim. Liddy goes back and forth a little bit between the conventional grip, which she's using here, and left hand low when she's in yeah. closer range. But she is just rolling to be rock today. A lot of players this week asked what they would do with $2 million. Lydia said, I'll just watch it in my bank account. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I'll just look at it as, they, as, that, as that check cashes. It makes that five iron look real easy. It's a good problem to have. I mean, every yeah, one of these, they just look so easy. And they're not. It's pretty still right now, starting to taper down for the rest of the evening. Look at but gets a nice hop. Penalty area does sneak in a little bit there on the tee shot when it's down, Breeze. That was a four hybrid from 200 yards to this par five. Leaning just a little left. Stay up, stay up. Oh, they're asking it to stay up. It's quite a steep slope around this green. It's going to finish down in the drain, so she'll get a drop from there. She has the face wide open here, Paige. Needs to make solid contact, unlike what happened at 13. Clean click. Very nice. Really, really nice. That's more like what we're used to seeing from Lydia. Beautiful shot. Fourth birdie in a row. Yeah. Uh, Lydia Ko, number one in the race to the CME Globe, top of the standings of the Rolex Player of the Year, and now leading by one here at the Tour Championship. Yeah, it says 314 in the yardage book. It is downwind. Confidently picks up the tee. Yeah, but maybe bunker. a little closer than comfort. Oh, just. She may have a bit of an awkward stance. So this is going to be a nice, strong one. Not just her physical fortitude and, and ability, but her mental ability with everything on the line to Finish. put together the round that she's been putting together today. It was for five in a row to finish up. Gave it a run, got it there. And picked perfect clubs and shots on nearly every hole. Terrific season, great form coming in, all that experience. He's been there. Finishes with a par of 65 after the opening bogey today. 